Right, this video is about safety, tools and techniques. You can see here that I have done my drawing of my print. I've used a felt tip pen to decide where my dark areas are and my light areas. These here are the tools that we're going to use. They're called woodcut tools. Now, when you look really closely at the ends, you can see what kind of mark they're going to make. For example, this little one here has the tiniest little V-shaped groove. That's going to make a real fine cut. This one is a kind of a U-shape, so it's going to make a slightly fatter or wider cut and a softer line. This one is a big, fat, deep cutting tool. And you can see it's got a big, huge V-shape on it, so it's going to make a big, grunty kind of a cut. And then this one is an excellent one for when you want to cut out a large area all at once. So, for example, if I wanted to cut all this black area away, I could use my fine pointy one and do an outline and then my wide tool and then I'd cut out the rest. So I'm going to give you a little demo now to show you how to do it because our next thing is safety. Now, if I started to cut and I put my hand here and I started to cut here, what you risk is that this will just jump up and poke you right in the finger and we don't want any dramas and disasters. So the first thing to remember is to always have your hand here and to follow the line we keep our hand behind and cut. It can be a bit of a carry on, it takes a while and sometimes I do it like this, a bit of a jiggity effect. I'm not very strong. Like some boys might be able to do this easy, but some girls may not because they're not as strong as guys on the whole. Now, say I wanted to cut this little circle out. Can you see that little dot that I've drawn? There's a little technique you can use as that as well. But notice where my hands are at all times, always behind the blade. You just turn your thing around, your little plate, and you can go any way all around the plate. This, I think this, blunt, this thing is quite blunt, but never mind, it's still giving you an idea. Now, I'll show you if we want to cut an area out. Can you see how this is nice and sharp? That's cutting a nice large area out of this one. Now, if I wanted to cut that circle out here, I might have to leave a little line showing that, but also over here I might just go digging it in, put some pressure on, and then turn this around carefully, keeping my fingers away. And then scoop it out. See, that's made a nice round cut. Very nice and exciting, isn't it? You can tidy it up a little bit with some more gouging, but basically this little fat tool or wide tool is great for doing circles. But there you have it. Printmaking, made easy. Most important thing, keep your hands right away from the blade. And that is the end of that.